Certainly up there is one of the easiest free-to-play games. What Goodwill Drive Hills creates through a lack of pop-up ads, it loses through a total lack of challenge. This review is for version 1.0.8. Press and hold your finger on the screen to move your truck forward with the aim being to reach the goal with your cargo still intact. With hills, bumps, cars and more along the way, you can slow down and stop by taking your finger off the screen. It's simple and very easy to understand. Get to the goal with your cargo intact and it goes towards earning new trucks. However, there is no real punishment to arrive with nothing in the back. Sure, it won't go towards getting a new truck, but you'll be able to progress to the next level uninterrupted. Keeping your cargo intact isn't particularly challenging though. While unlocking trucks might seem worthwhile, these are limited and don't change gameplay. Neither does upgrading them, which is done with money earned through play and via mini games. Sure, you can get better acceleration and go faster, but it's hardly significant, so it's barely worth mentioning. Every so often, on one of your levels, you'll pass an incident. This is where you can stop and take part in a mini game. Stuff like monster truck races and police chases. These play out exactly like the main game and offer zero challenge. Simply hold down your finger and send your vehicle over the finish line. To play these though, you'll have to watch an ad first. The same goes for opening bonus crates, to play the tire squashing game and annoyingly to even get new trucks. Yes, the game promises new trucks if you deliver your cargo, but fails to mention that when it reaches 100%, you'll have to watch an ad to get it. All these are forgivable though, as Drive Hills bucks a common trend for free-to-play games, namely not spamming you with pop-up ads throughout. You'll get the occasional one, but it's far less common than you might expect. It's a sad indictment of the free-to-play market that not throwing ads in your face every few seconds is praiseworthy, especially when the game has its share elsewhere. Regardless, Drive Hills doesn't get our seal of approval because of just how easy it is, meaning it lacks real replay value. You could have its current drop of trucks unlocked within 30 minutes of gameplay and after that, there's nothing more to do. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts and of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?